Well, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi guys, good morning Have you ever studied about past tense? Have you? Okay, today we will study about past tense family There are four family of past tense The first is simple past tense And then the second is past perfect tense And the next we have past continuous tense and for the last we have past perfect continuous tense do you know the function about each family of past tense okay i will explain to you the first is function of simple past tense is used to express finished or completed actions and for past perfect tense is used to indicate that something happened before another event in the past. For past continuous tense, is used to indicate that something happened over a period of time. This verb form is used to show that happened before now and can still be going on at this time. And for the last, is past perfect continuous tense is used to, de- to discuss things that happened in the past and continued up until another past action. Do you remember it? Okay, that's good. Let's move to the formula of simple past tense. For positive formula, we use subject, verb to, and also object. For negative sentence, We use subject, did not, plus verb 1, and also plus object. And for interrogative sentence, we use did, plus subject, plus verb 1, and also object. Simple past tense have many time signal, like yesterday, last week, last month, last year, last time, a week ago, and etc. For the positive sentence, we have the example, she watched the movie yesterday. The word she is the subject, and then the word watched is the verb. Use verb to for positive sentence, and then the movie is the object, and for yesterday, is the time signal she watched the movie yesterday for negative sentence she did not watch the movie yesterday in negative and also interrogative sentence the verb use verb one the word watched in positive sentence is changed to the verb one watched to watch she did not watch the movie yesterday for negative sentence the example is did she watch the movie yesterday is still use verb one do you get it that's great let's move to the next tense for past perfect tense the formula is used verb 3 all of the formula is used verb 3 let's move to the example for the time signal we use before blah 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 or after blah 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 for positive sentence the example is she had watched the movie before went to campus the word she is the subject. The word had is the to be. And then the word watched is the verb. And then word the movie is the object. And before went to campus is the time signal. She had watched the movie before went to campus. And for negative sentence, the example is she had not watched 
the movie before went to campus. And for interrogative sentence, the example is Had she watched the movie before went to campus? So, all of the example or all of the sentence in past perfect tense is use verb 3. Formula of past continuous tense In positive, subject plus was or were plus verb in plus object In negative, subject plus was or were plus not plus verb in plus object In interrogative, was or were plus subject plus verb in plus object in family of continuous you have to use verb in and when should we use was or were was if the subject I see he and it were for subject you they and we next the time signal of past continuous tense yesterday at last week on last night at this morning at same as like time signal in simple past but in past continuous you have to explain the clock in detail for the example positive sentence she was watching movie yesterday at 7 am in negative she was not watching movie yesterday at 7 am interrogative was she watching movie yesterday at 2 am Next, formula of past perfect continuous tense. In positive, subject had been plus verb in plus object. In negative, subject plus had plus not plus been plus verb in plus object. Interrogative had plus subject plus pin plus pop in plus object next the time signal of past perfect continuous tense is yesterday for the example in positive she had been watching movie yesterday for two hours before went to campus and the negative she had not been watching movie yesterday for two hours before went to campus and interrogative had she been watching movie yesterday for two hours before went to campus uh, you have to detail in explain about the clock yesterday for two hours and after before you have to use verb to because this is past perfect okay continue about the formula of nominal simple past tense in positive subject plus was or were plus Anna and negative subject plus were or were plus not plus Anna in interrogative was or were plus subject plus Anna 
What is Anna? Anna stands for adjective, noun, and adverb. Okay, the example of nominal simple past tense. In positive, I was in the class. Negative, I was not in the class. Interrogative, was I in the class? In the class is adverb, adverb of place. Okay, next. Formula of nominal past perfect tense. Positive subject plus head plus pin plus Anna. Negative subject plus head plus not plus pin plus Anna. And interrogative head plus subject plus pin plus Anna. The example in positive I had been in the class and the negative I had not been in the class and interrogative had I been in the class okay guys now we have games to play the game's name is crosswords it's all about past tense family okay let's see number one number one in transverse column the question is verb two of swim verb two of swim is okay number one answer is swim no s w a and m okay next in number two in longitudinal column question is subject plus head plus verb three verb plus object is formula for Okay, number two. It's number two. The answer is past perfect. Okay. Okay, this pass perfect. Okay, next. In number three, the question is the pass form of two or does is. Okay, let's see number three. That is number three. The answer is did. Okay, did. Next, for number four. The question is I had been reading a novel five years ago. Is example four? Okay, number four. Longitudinal. Okay, the answer is Past perfect continuous. Past perfect continuous. Okay, next. In number five, the question is the past form of has or have. 
Okay, number five. That is number five. The answer is hat. Okay, hat. Hat. Next. In number six, the question is subject plus was or where plus verb in plus object is blah 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 formula. Number six. Okay, the answer is past continuous. Okay, because the question is formula of past continuous. Okay, next. Next in number seven. The question is we have to use for two in okay. We can use for two in simple pass. Okay. Simple pass. Simple pass. Next for the last number, number eight. The question is sentence that used to be an Anna is blah 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 sentence. Okay. The answer is nominal. Okay, nominal. Okay. It's all the answer of games. Okay, well, that's our presentation about family of past tense. I do hope our presentation will be useful for you guys. And sorry if we have mistakes. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video, guys. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. <tuh>